Okay, hi everybody. Okay, now we are at Ayer Raja Food Centre, which is about say, 10 minutes bus ride from West Coast Park. I don't know, yeah. But we were lost earlier. We took the bus on the other side, so we went the other way. So it took us 20 minutes to reach here. Mm -hmm. But we are here. And um, this is lunch. So just now we're sharing about breakfast with Ayana uh, Muhammad. Um, yeah, so this is what, uh, how you're gonna eat if you're outside. Uh, always choose proteins and vegetables over uh, rice and carbohydrates. So I'm gonna share with you what I pick for myself is uh, mutton soup. Okay, so that's the, this is the mutton soup. And then I also ordered uh, the Indian rojak, which they are very famous for here at Ayuraja Food Center. They are famous for their rojak. So I have that. But I only chose the protein, so I have the the uh, squid. So that's squid. So no, no, uh, not focusing, not focusing. Never mind the squid. And then I have the what is limpa? What is limpa? Liver? No, no, no liver. Yeah, it's something like liver, something but liver. it's not paru. It's the lung or the liver part of the cow. And I have egg. And I also took one um, sausage. Sausage is fine um, in moderation because of the nitrate, but like if there's nothing else and you are there's out of protein something, you can go for sausage. Um, of course, I'm not gonna eat it with a sauce because chances are the sauce has got sugar in it because they tend to be very sweet. Um, and then, Yana, what are you having? Okay, I'm having this uh, thing called uh, mutton chop. Close up of the yes. food. Yeah. Okay, mutton chop consists of potatoes, eggs, uh, peas, tomatoes, uh, cucumbers, and also mutton with this uh, red gravy. Okay, for this, I think uh, it's acceptable only that uh, you only that we are only that we are not able to eat the potatoes, and also we have to go easy with the sauces. But you can still eat a bit of sauces, right? Um, yes, but in moderation, yeah. I mean, yeah. Okay, another item that I've ordered is this. It's oyster omelette. Which I think is a quite an ideal diet like, because it's omelette. Yeah, you do a close up. And also, uh, oyster, uh, which is suitable for keto, right? You're saying, right? Uh, yeah, so oyster. I'm drinking the Ayataka green tea because it has no sugar but of course just because it says no sugar you really have to check whether it's really no sugar by looking at the labels always check and of course like when you drink it um, if it tastes sweet that means even though there's no sugar there might be artificial sweetness so you have to be careful for that as well so is this reliable? yeah this is really no sugar if you drink green tea and you drink ayataka green tea you will know that that's no sugar so I always drink this when I'm outside um, and Yana is yes I just chose mineral water, mineral water because right? I was very thirsty yeah, because, I'm so, <laughs> because I'm so thirsty and it's the best Right, okay, so that's we're gonna that's eat started. now. So today we have visited two food places, and that's my daughter and also Ayer Raja Hawker Centre uh, to, to show all of you the food that is suitable for ketogenic diet. Uh, so I hope uh, that this video can be very useful for those who look, uh, for those who plan to look into this diet and to, uh, plan to actually uh, try this out. It's actually not difficult at all, you just need to uh, choose your food accordingly and just remember as long as it's protein uh, and doesn't contain carbohydrate you consider safe right so um, I think anytime you start a diet uh, there's always uh, it's always good to understand the reason why you're doing it and have the motivation to continue to do it when it gets hard because um, it is going to get hard uh, mm -hmm. because Singapore has a lot of food yes you can and, like, we are tempted. here and I'm so tempted to eating like all the hawker food that I you know used to to eat uh, before I was a diabetic so like like it's, it is going to get hard um, but so you need to understand and self-educate yourself uh, why you are doing why you're doing it you're gonna get like a lot of resistance as well from your family and friends they're probably gonna like ask you to eat a little like it's okay to have a little bit of sugar it's okay to eat a little bit of rice and the thing is if you are healthy that's fine but if you're not healthy if you're having disease uh, even a little bit of bread like one slice of bread um, can 
be harmful to you. So what I usually do is I always tell my um, friends that I am allergic to carbohydrates because in a way it is kind of true. If you eat carbohydrates, your sugar is going to spike and you're going to get sick. So like there is some truth in that. Um, so like I hope like what we did uh, over the past these videos like it helps to like sort of motivate you to start doing ketogenic especially you know since weight loss is such a huge bonus to yes. doing ketogenic um, diet too so like yeah that's all i have to say yeah so look out for uh, more of our ketogenic videos you can visit Jusela's channel uh, and also my channel because from now onwards uh, the food that will be featured in my videos will be mostly ketogenic food. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so We're I've gonna changed have the mood here and there. Yeah. But ketogenic mood bump. Yeah, so healthy, right? <laughs> and it's not a lot of food. It's just gonna be eating until you are full. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, that's all for today. Hope you enjoyed this video. Bye! Bye! Bye. I want to eat this one.